Hello there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading for the month of December. I was just looking to make sure everything was right. Welcome to my channel, Healing Tea Talk. My name is Myra. I'm a fellow Sagittarian. Very excited to do this video for us <laughs> for the month of December 2020. I hope you guys are well. Happy birthday and all that jazz. So I'm just going to say a quick prayer, Sagittarius, and then get into the reading. So Father, thank you for my Sagittarius friends, all placing that sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, praying for guidance that confirms, affirms, encourages, and provides insight and guidance. Thank you, Archangels. Spirit guides of the highest, most holy, divine order. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. With respect to all other religions. All right. All right, friends. So I am going to start with the secret language of light deck. And this is really great because it not only has a message, but it has a practical application. So there will be a meditation, a journal prompt, if that interests you. Um we do a full moon and new moon get together on my channel and so i think i'm going to tag that as the full moon with friends because we have a wonderful time the full moon is a great energy to release things that don't serve us as well as to welcome in the things in our lives that we do want to see so if you'd like to be a part of that join my channel friends so you can be a part of that so there is a new moon and solar eclipse in sagittarius on december the 14th and then venus enters our sign the next day on the 15th which is a very buoyant approach to romance. It's very adventurous in general. And um, you can find yourself being very adventurous as it pertains to love in a general sense. You could also be very uh, straightforward and blunt, which we can be, right, Sad? Alrighty, so the first card that comes out for us for the month of December is trans. Formation number 19, friends. So let's find out more about what that means. All right. And so the transformation card, this card says suffering is optional, Sagittarius. You are experiencing an ending. You are feeling a loss as a whole or a void in your life. This empty feeling is a space for something new and better. A new way will reveal itself very soon. Pain is something that happens to all of us, but suffering is a choice. I say that all the time. I actually got that from um, Susan Taylor, the former editor-in-chief of Essence Magazine. Yeah. Alrighty. So justifying and analyzing and rationalizing will separate you further from your soul's wisdom. From this state, you will blame yourself, another, or an event for feeling angry or sad. Focusing on the suffering will only cement the ideology or belief that created it. In other words, you become what you fight against. Now imagine what you can create by focusing on all the beautiful aspects of your life and what you are good at, Sag. Focus on where your life is filled with things that make you smile. Change starts with you and all your desires begin with a dream. Where will you place your focus tomorrow morning? All right, guys. And so the journal work associated with this is to, it says you can't change anything by fighting against it. What has already been created. To bring about change, create a new way that supersedes the old way. Draw or write about something that makes you suffer every time you think about it. Ugh. And five ways. Okay, now write down five reasons why it makes you suffer and five ways it has motivated you to create something different. The next time you feel yourself react as suffering, focus on the something different you have written down. So basically uh, the approach Sagittarius is if you are suffering, we can always change our mindset, change our actions or behavior to something that doesn't feel as, doesn't feel like suffering to us, okay? All right, so it takes the same amount of energy to be happy or sad. And Sagittarius, we tend to be pretty optimistic, so, you know, keep that in mind. But transformation is a central energy. Let me get you a card from the Whispers of Love deck, Sagittarius, and see what Whispers of Love are on point for the month of December 2020, friends. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the like button. 
Also share and subscribe. All right, Holy Spirit answers for my fellow says she's for the month of December. All right, that was too many. Let's see if we have, if we can narrow this down a bit. Messages, Holy Spirit, Archangels for my Sagittarius for the month of December 2020. All right, friends. So we have back to what you love, reevaluating your desires, which was sort of mentioned in that transformation card. So this could be a childhood dream, um, is what I'm thinking of. Sagittarius is reminding me of that, and I actually had an experience sort of similar to that. Uh, a couple days ago but this is getting back to what you love okay very good all right so let's get you a card from the power of surrender deck this should be really good because it has in it things you should surrender and things you should surrender to Sagittarius so let's take a look at that. What should Sagittarius friends surrender or surrender to for the month of December 2020? All right, guys. So we have here surrender to miracles, Sag. Be open to miracles occurring in your life. Feel and know that these events are real. Let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen really good all right and the other card that turned over was surrender to prayer oh those two go together really nicely don't they give yourself over completely to prayer sagittarius when you pray from your heart you will be heard throughout the universe and answers and support will arrive how awesome is that all right and then finally guys i'm going to get you an angel answer card Get a thought in your mind. Whatever you watch this, it doesn't matter. Time is a fluid concept. So I believe whenever you watch this, whatever question you come up with, we'll see what answers the angels have. It just flipped over. It says remain positive. Whatever the situation is, Sag, remain positive. Yes, surrender to miracles. Pray about it. Um, think about what it is that you loved. I feel like as a kid, what meant a lot to you growing up? What dreams or aspirations did you have growing up, Sag? You may be returning back to a career that you love or maybe even a person. All right. So I'm going to use the Psychic Tarot deck to do your spread here, friends. Let's get the central issue, heart of the matter for Sagittarius for the month of November, Holy Spirit. All right, so we have here mental conflict, the two of swords, being of two minds about something, Sagittarius. You could be overthinking something. Um, your crown chakra is here. So I feel like it has something to do, friends, with um, maybe, you, maybe your insight could be in limbo. Let me take a look at this real quick. Hmm. It could feel like a state of limbo. Um, you could feel sort of like, I don't really know. You could be questioning what it is that you know. Let me just take a look at something here. All right. So this card can have something to do, Sagittarius, with an inability to move forward, right? So limbo. It can also have something to do with self-doubt or indecisiveness, okay? Um, it may be an easy decision, but you're already aware of this. Just remember that you have the strength, courage, and power to make all of the necessary considerations, Yeah, this is also when you are in limbo or things like this. You had another card, Sagittarius, that had asked for help from others. It was part of the angel deck. So this suggests that 
Um, seek out and listen to wise counsel to help you make right decisions. Listen to your intuition and also have faith in yourself. And peace and harmony will be yours, which is sort of the definition of the temperance card, which is Sagittarius. So at the bottom of the angel deck, it did say to ask for help from other Sagittarius. So other people may be able to help you make a decision, or it could just be this prayer asking for help from spirit or your angels. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at your crossing energy for the month. What is the crossing energy for my Sagis for the month of December, Holy Spirit? I do feel like, Sag, that you do know the answer to something. You could be making something a little harder than it needs to be or a decision. All right, so triumphant success, but the Ace of Swords came out. Now, this doesn't surprise me because towards the middle of December, Mercury goes into Capricorn, which is about being very methodical and focused in your thinking. So I do think that it could be challenging to be very focused and sure about what it is that you'd like to do, but that, that does clear up around December 20th. Okay, when Mercury goes into Capricorn. So you might find it you might find it a little easier to make a decision as the month of December goes on. Let's take a look at your root or foundational energy and the heart chakra. The four the four is about your heart. It's the fourth chakra. And you have stand your ground, Sagittarius, the seven of wands here. So I feel like you need to trust your heart. Um, I feel like if it's a matter of love or matters of love, it's okay for you to, or things that are at the heart of your um, being. So the heart chakra, this black card is a major arcana card. And so I feel like this is about you standing up and being courageous, Sagittarius, about the things that you're passionate about. Okay. Very good. And then at the bottom of the deck, we do have the sun, which is the happiest card in the deck and a major arcana so i do feel like you're gone you're going to get the clarity that you're seeking or that you want or feel you need let's take a look at the recent past for my sagittarius friends thank you recent past all right so you have your solar plexus Sagittarius, another major arcana. I feel like your passion may have been stimulated with this Ace of Wands card here, which is about the gift of passion and beautiful energy here. So I feel like there's something that turned you on. It could have lit you up, Sag. And you may have very much felt courageous or in your power. It could have been a Leo for some of you. Let's take a look at your crowning energy for the month. the crowning energy for my Sagittarius friends. All right, guys. So we have conflict and defeat. All right. And the number five. So it's the five of swords. And then the four of cups, discontent and boredom. Hmm. What it feels like, Sag, it doesn't, I don't feel the fight energy there. I don't. It feels like more of a surrender. So you guys may be feeling a, a bit of a surrender type of energy. Um, I think you may have, you know, come into December with some kind of inspiration but I don't, I don't know. I don't feel the fight there, Sagittarius. Let me take a look at this conflict and defeat. And it feels like it's in your, it's in your mind. Okay. Um, that card represents significant learning and change. And how you handle your, yourself at this time is vital to your overall well-being. This card could relate to a lack of sensitivity in taking action or in response to conditions or situations around you. This need for sensitivity could relate to you or someone else in your life. So the five of swords can sometimes be winning at all costs. Now, Sag, one of the things that um, is very true about 
Venus entering your sign is that you could be insensitive, insensitive to others. As it pertains to love, we have at the bottom of your reading the four, your heart chakra, and at the top, the four of cups, discontent and boredom. It could be an offer, um, but I'll clarify that for you guys to see what that is about. Um, I wonder if some of you could be trying to choose between a couple different people. Could be where the indecisiveness is coming from. But let's take a look at your near future. All right. All right, so what popped out was the Five of Cups and the Emperor. So some kind of emotional loss or feeling not necessarily in control of something, Sag. All right, what does Sag bring to the table and how do they see this situation? So you do remain hopeful, Sagittarius. This is the Star or the Aquarius card. Um, I think that you are hopeful. We also have recognition and reward here at the bottom of the deck. All right, what energy is coming towards my Saggies? What outside influences are impacting this reading? The emperor can represent a father figure. Sometimes it can be just being in control of something, stability and efficiency. All right, so we have the Nine of Swords and the Throat Chakra. Suffering in silence. See all of that blue, Sagittarius? So I feel like there could be someone around you that isn't saying something or it's Sag. You know, that could just be sort of how you feel. Somebody could be suffering in silence, like literally not saying anything. Um, could be a Capricorn, but I do see the Devil card here. It feels like pride. What is the, what are Saggy's hopes and fears? What are Saggy's hopes and fears? Sagittarius, I do feel like you're going to stay hopeful about something, but I don't see a very fierce fight about something. I feel like um, you could be experiencing self-doubt or not being sure about yourself or a situation, okay? Um, I do see you remaining hopeful, though, which is also why I feel like you got the guidance to remain positive, Sagittarius. Whatever is coming up, um, it could be prayer. There could be somebody in, you know, a father figure or someone who... Um, I don't necessarily see illness, but I do see there could be something going on where you find yourself um, praying and just believing God for a miracle of some type. Let's take a look at what are Saggy's hopes and fears? Holy Spirit, please. Yeah, um, what's coming to me, guys, is that song. Um, uh, it's a it's a. It's an old hymn, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. But the part that comes to me specifically is, Oh, what peace we often forfeit. And oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. So what's really coming to me, Sagittarius, is there is something that you're thinking. You'll need to rely on your spiritual strength. Don't rely on your own um, understanding of things. Um, I, I think that that could lead you down a, a wrong road. So, you know, what is that? Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Um, trust in the Lord with all of your heart and don't lean to your own understanding. In all of your ways, acknowledge source, acknowledge God. And he will direct your path. So I feel like your your guidance, friend, is to really rely on your spiritual strength, right? Your spiritual knowledge. Trying to figure things out on your own may not be the best way to sort things out. Take everything 
to spirit, to source in prayer this month, okay? All right, and let's take a look at the outcome. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your guidance. Yes, yeah, stay open to miracles, Sagittarius, okay? All right, so we had a lot of cards fall out, but I'm going to turn them over, friends. So we have the Eight of Pentacles. This is your outcome, which is positive movement forward. All right, we have... The Two of Cups. So there could be some type of romantic connection, Sagittarius, that is slowly but surely moving forward. We have here the Eight of Cups, which is emotional withdrawal. And we have the Light. Beautiful, which is that Sun card came right back. So I do feel like when you get by yourself, Sagittarius, you do regain strength when you pray, right? Right? The Eight of Cups there, see that? When you pray, when you get still, when you seek source, I feel like all of this beautiful light, this hope and wonderful, beautiful outcomes come in. So your outcome is beautiful. It's steadily, steadily moving forward. It's positive. It's union. It's connection. Connecting with someone who sees things the way that you see them. I do feel like your connection to source this month, Sagittarius, is going to bring forth some miracles for you guys okay and i did say i was going to clarify um so let me just clarify your overall energy and see what the two of swords and the crown chakra are all about although i feel like we sort of dissected the month of december pretty good okay so let's take a look at this two of swords what is this mental conflict about All right, so we have the emperor, okay, back again, which is, you know, the need to take control of something. It's about stability and efficiency, but again, this could be a father figure or someone who represents, you know, that in your life and the six of swords, which is being at peace. It could be some at moving forward. So I do feel like the, the, the need to take control of something, Sagittarius, and have peace in your mind about something. I do think that comes, though, however, from you seeking source and let's see what this crown chakra is um this could also be a very stable figure in your life sag or it could represent you it could be an aries but someone who is very sound in their thinking right that's either something you desire or someone around you who is sound in your thinking sound in their thinking and stable and then we have the queen of pentacles capricorn virgo or tars which is again a very sensible energy and then we have the full card and the ace of wands so we you know acting on something that inspires you So Sagittarius, just in an overall sense, it just really feels like there is a need to be in control, right? To, to, to have a sense of stability in your mindset. I think your thoughts can lead you astray. So it's really important to stay grounded or centered spiritually, all righty? And I do feel like there it will, if you're not feeling inspired right now, I do think some kind of inspiration, um, you'll be feeling like getting back to yourself. But there's something that will... Um, again, you'll get that spark, something that will make you excited and ready to move and ready to take action. OK, but um, remain positive, Sagittarius, no matter what you are going through. You may not feel that spark or that jump right now, but I think it will be restored to you. OK, could be going through some major changes in the month of December. It's OK. You're not by yourself. Just again, keep your prayer life, your meditation life at the forefront and surrender to miracles and going back to what you love. Always take your mindset back to things that inspire you and give you hope. Suffering is a choice, Sagittarius, and you don't have to suffer, right? We, If we have the ability to think and create, then we can take ourselves out of that energy whenever we feel down 
and move it to a place that's more abundant and gives us a higher vibration, okay? All right, Sagittarius, thanks for tuning in to your December 2020 reading. I love you guys dearly. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and join me daily for the Daily Tea at 3, guys. I will see you there. Take care.